everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have a fun DIY Miraculous Ladybug project. We're going to be making the monarch rings from Miraculous Ladybug. I think these monarch rings are super, super cool and I want to make a set for myself. There are 19 in all to make. So here are the supplies that we're going to need. I'm going to be using some shrinky dinks. This is the 10 pack frosted shrinky dinks. I have my sharpies to color. I have a can of spray paint. This is metallic finish in gray or silver. And I have a box of these rings. So these are blank rings. And what I like about these is that it's rectangular here on top. And you can also adjust it for sizes. And these come in various colors. So that's why we have the spray paint. And finally, I have the templates. So this is the templates for each of the rings. I got a template from Isa's World. She made a really beautiful set of rings a few months ago. And she was so kind to make the template available for everybody. So go down below to the description for the link to our video and the template. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually spray paint these ring templates. I'm going to pick out 19. Okay, so here are our 19 rings. And just so that I have something to hold on to, I am sticking these rings through a packet of disposable chopsticks. It has a bit of paper here, so we've got some grip. And we can put the rings here. All right, and here are all the rings. And if you're interested in buying these ring blanks, you can use the link down in the description. I got these from Amazon, so you can search for them yourself, or you can use the link I provided below. Now, let's go outside to spray. Once the paint has dried, this is what the rings look like. They look really, really good, don't they? Next, we're going to take our shrinky dink paper and I am putting the rough side up. And we're going to place this over our template here. And I'm going to tape it down so that it does not move while we're coloring. Let's go ahead and start coloring. So here we're going to do the colored parts first.
Once we have all the colors in, let's go ahead and fill in with black. Alright, so we are done with the coloring and it is looking really good. Let's go ahead and remove the template. Okay, 
and here it is. Ooh, this is looking really good. Now with scissors, we're going to carefully cut out each of them. All right, and we are done cutting. So this is what they look like after cutting them. So we got all of them all ready to go. Now all we have to do is shrink them. So since these are pretty small, I'm not gonna shrink them in the oven. I'm actually gonna shrink them with a heat gun. So here is my heat gun. I'm going to quickly shrink them while holding on to it with a tweezer. And here's our first one. Okay, let's just test it out on the ring here. And this is what it's gonna look like once it's glued down. Let's go ahead and shrink the other ones.
Alright everyone, so here are all the little ring toppers. Here are all the different symbols. They look really, really good. Look how bright they are. So now we are ready to take our ring blanks and set it. So for these, I'm going to be using some tacky glue. These are quick dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here and just press them into the ring. Like this. And wait for it to dry. And the fast way to do it is just to wear the rings, put the glue on, and add the symbols. And there are two sides to each of this. I'm putting the shiny side up. And I saved the last one, Ladybug, for last. It is. This looks so good. Okay, let's go ahead and let them dry. Alright everyone, and we are done. So let's go ahead and take a look at our rings. Okay, so first up we have the one for the pig. This one is for the butterfly. Over here we have Ladybug. Here is the goat. Here is the rooster. And here is the snake. Next up, we have the horse, then we have the peacock, over here is the mouse, and then we also have the tiger. Over here is the turtle, and we have the fox. After that, this one is the ox, and then the monkey. Here we have the dragon, then the dog, and finally the cat. Alright everyone, so what do you think of these monarch rings? Aren't they fun? And I love that they were so easy to make too. Do you see a favorite? I think my favorites are some of the brighter ones. So the goat, the rooster, the monkey, the fox. Of course the dragon's really amazing. The cat and the dog is also really cool and also the pig. The bright ones stand out quite a lot. Alright everyone, so if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!